Welcome to Electron Line, and now to gain an additional understanding of how the interference pattern looks like on the screen where we have three slits, we're going to take a look at some additional cases. Remember in the previous video we saw when we had a phase difference of 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 90 degrees, and 120 degrees. And just to reiterate, when it was 0 degrees, we could see that the phases lined up just perfectly. The total electric field strength was simply equal to the sum of the 3, 3 times E, and therefore the intensity, which is this number squared times the original intensity of a single wave, we can see the intensity at the central maximum is 9 times the intensity of a single slit uh, interference pattern. Of course, when we have a single slit, there is no interference pattern. We just have the intensity of a single electric uh, magnetic field wave coming through a single slit giving you a central maximum. So when there's three slits, you get nine times the intensity. Seems kind of odd that you would have nine times the intensity with three slits and four times the intensity with two slits, but what happens is that the width of the beam or the width of the central maximum will be much narrower with multiple slits, so therefore you have a higher peak intensity but a much narrower distribution, so the total energy is still the same, so we don't get energy out of nowhere. Uh, the pattern will still work out and we'll show you that in some future videos how to calculate that. But what we wanted to do here is show you why we have this fun little intermediary maximum before we have another large maximum over here on both sides. So this continues, the pattern continues, there's a little small maximum, big maximum, small, big, small, big and so forth. So how does that work? Why is that so? Well, what happens when the phase difference is 180 degrees? Well, that means that the first ray will go in this direction. So that would be E sub naught. If the phase angle is 180 degrees, that means we have a 180 degree angle this way. And then the next phase, the, the energy coming through the next uh, slit will be in the opposite direction, canceling out the energy from the first one. And then the third one will go back in this direction. That will be another 180 degree phase shift like that, 180 degrees. And notice that the total then, E total, will simply be equal to E sub naught. So, notice that when the phase difference was 120 degrees, we had our first minimum. But at 180 degrees, what happens is that the first one will be cancelled out by the second one, and the total energy will be equal to the third one, which is equal to E sub naught. So therefore, immerse my red pen, therefore I total, I total is simply equal to I sub naught. And so therefore we get the small little maximum right there, and that occurs in case E where the phase angle is equal to 180 degrees. All right, what happens now when the phase angle is equal to 240 degrees? Well, we have our first uh, ray coming through the first slit, like this, so it'll be E sub naught. Now we realize that we have a 240 degree phase shift, so 240 degrees, that would be 180, plus another 60, so that would be from there, another 60, that would be in this direction right there, so that would be a 240 degree phase shift. Oop, 240 degrees. Where's my eraser? Right here. 240 degrees. So there would be my second one, E sub naught. And now we have another 240 degree shift. So we go from there. That's 180 degrees. That would be 240 degrees right there. And we have a third ray coming this way from the third slit, E sub naught. And notice we get right back to where we started. So vectorally, if we add them all up, we can say that E total is equal to zero. And therefore, we know that our intensity must also equal zero when we have a 240-degree phase shift. That means we're back to this minimum right there. So here we can see, let me find a place to put that. So in case F, F, when the phase angle is equal to 240 degrees, we end up with another minimum right there. And so that's why we had that small little maximum. So we have a large central maximum, drops off to zero, D, that's where we have 120 degree phase shift. Then we have a small minimum, a small maximum right here when the phase shift is 180 degrees. So that's this situation right here. And then we lo look at that, we go right back to a zero maximum. And then what happens when the phase shift is 360 degrees? Well, here we go, here's our first one. E sub naught. So the phase shift is 360 degrees. So we go from there all the way around, 360 degrees. And then we do our second ray from the second slit. Now we have a phase shift of, again, 360 degrees. And then we have our third one. And of course, that looks exactly like the first case right there, 
where we then see that the total electric field strength is equal to 3 times E sub naught. And therefore, we know that the intensity, I, is equal to 3 squared times I sub naught, which is equal to 9 I sub naught. That means we're back to a maximum right there, just like we had in this maximum right there, central maximum. And that's G, K is G, when the phase angle is equal to 360 degrees, which means we've come all the way around. That means that the distance traveled by the second ray is exactly one wavelength farther than the distance traveled by the first ray, so they're back in phase. And the distance traveled by the third ray is one, one wavelength farther than the distance traveled by the second wave and two wavelengths farther than the distance traveled by the first wave. So they're all three back in phase, and we see a central maximum right there, and that's how the pattern just continues. So hopefully that will give you a better feeling for what happens when you have three slits and what happens to the electric field strength and the intensity of the, of the energy or the intensity of the electromagnetic radiation at those various locations simply by vectorally adding up the light, the phasers going through each of the slits. And this is of course a three slit example. Of course we have multiple slit examples as well, but we'll get there. Just keep watching if you're still interested and we'll show you how to do that.